Cleanse the dark and dark, purify the dark, cleanse it from negativity, demon, evil, hex, hex, lies, bring forth your truth. In this reading, I'll be talking about Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. A lot of people don't talk about Tom Hanks. I know he was in the media recently because they were practically stampeding his wife. It's been a long time. Be careful, Tom. Watch out. Move. 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 It's been a long time, Tom. How you been? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Stop it. What are y'all doing? Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? Back the f off. What are y'all doing? What do you want, you People are crazy, bro. Knock it over my wife. Yeah, they're bugging. Sorry to talk about that. They're no. These people are Come on, That's man. Right. Sorry about that, Tom. Tom, sorry about that, Tom. What are they doing? What are they doing out here? Someone... Truth about Tom Hanks. What's his future fate? I saw an interview the other day. He seemed nervous when they started talking about Harvey Weinstein. Tom Hanks sat down with Jeffrey Brown back in 2017 to discuss his book, Uncommon Type, and the Harvey Weinstein question popped up. What's interesting is what Hank's battle language said in those moments as you're about to find out. See how many emotional clues can you spot in the following clip. I think there was knowledge amongst a certain group of people, mostly who did business with, with, with Harvey Weinstein. There are countless women who understood that that's what happened and there were many people who said, well, that's just Harvey being Harvey. We could see two evident emotional displays, such as a classic shrug and he fiddling with his glasses. Those are the easier to spot, especially because when he shrugged, he was stuttering at the same time. We are just getting started. There is no direct meaning in these signals, but it's important to take note of them. It's also easy to notice how Hanks talks about the matter nodding in a way of connecting with Brown about this terrible topic. Also, that eyebrow raise when he emphasizes the concept of many people saying that this was just Harvey being Harvey as a way of saying that, yes, it was many people. As usual, we should pay attention to people's words, because that's how we can compare the battle language to what they are saying. Let's see if you can spot the underlying idea in the words that Hanks is about to say next. Any place there's a boss with underlings in any <clears throat> corporation or any industry, you have a type of sexual politics that goes on that mm -hmm. can slide in between uh, appropriate ethics and, and decorum to uh, let's see, inappropriate behavior to the point of harassment and, and uh, sexual predatory behavior. Well, I mean, I think people understand that, but the large... One thing that caught my attention is that to the present question of this culture of casting couch in Hollywood, he tries to frame the concept as something general that can happen in any corporation or any industry. Well, he's not wrong. People abusing their power in a sexual way can happen in any of these structures, and the more power, the higher the odds. But it's like saying that people in my neighborhood throw cigarette You know, there's a lot of rumors going around Tom Hanks. Weinstein, Steven Spielberg. All the great directors. So what is the future with Tom Hanks? Bring forth the truth, my gods and goddesses. The truth. Bring forth the truth, the universe. Bring forth the truth. Bring forth the truth. Bring forth the truth of Tom Hanks. Bring forth the truth of Tom Hanks. Bring forth the truth of Tom Hanks. What is the truth? Tom Hanks. What is the truth, Tom Hanks? What is the truth, Tom Hanks? The actor, Tom Hanks. We have to read this on TV. What is this future fate? And one of my favorite actors, by the way. What is Future fate, one of my favorite actors. What is the future fate of Tom Hanks? What is the future fate of Tom Hanks?
Okay, let's look at the cards here. Okay. <clears throat> First card, these cards just popped out, literally. Okay. The first card we have is this card. See? You guys see this card? See? It says, the good you do comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of abundance, borrowing wisely, or paying off a debt, sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. So like Tom High School, we're doing a lot of charities. Like you're going to be giving a lot, it seems. Giving it to some people. He's going to be doing a lot of charity work, which is a good thing. Charity is good. So it looks like he's going to be doing a lot of that. And it says here, see this card? See that card? It says, protect what you have created. Be prepared. Never give up. Ask your angels for help, environmental activism, and animal rights. So it looks like he's going to be doing a lot of charity work with something, something with animal rights, some civilization or some community center he's going to work with. He's going to be doing that. But, got this card to pull it out. Let me see. See? It says, focusing on the negative. Things not turning out the way you anticipated. Forgiveness or self or others. Everything happens for a reason. Look for the hidden blessings. He might take a little backslide a little bit. Focus on the negative. Things are not going wrong. Whatever charity work he's doing. And it's going to let him lose focus. But he'll see his way through. Now we have this card. See? We have this card. Which says, you see a woman here, look like a mermaid, and a dolphin in the background. And then you see a gold cup there overflowing. It says, sensitive, open-hearted, and experienced moody messages regarding relationships. New emotional experiences, a romantic encounter, social invitations. Or events, heightened psychic abilities. So it looks like um, <clears throat> while he's doing all this activism and charity work and things of that nature, it looks like there may be some messages regarding relationships. Or um, he's going to go through some emotional experiences. More than likely with people he's going to be talking with, people he's going to be doing some kind of charity work with. You know, he's going to probably hear a lot of their stories, a lot of these social events. You see that? But he may meet someone while he's doing a lot of his charity work. And he probably started liking his woman. See, a romantic encounter to some of these social events he's going to do. Yeah, he's going to get in tune with his inner psychic abilities, his, his sensitive side. A new Tom Hanks may come out. It could be with his wife. You never know. But this is a mermaid, which means it's going to be someone unexpected he never met before at one of these social events. And then we have this card. See? See that card? And it says here, unfounded fear, expecting the worst, thus creating a self-fulfilling prophecies, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the situation. Sleepless nights, refocusing your thoughts. He goes to see a lonely man on the night there, basically. Yeah, it looks like um, this new person he's going to be meeting, Tom Hanks. Look like um, it's going to cause some sleepless nights, it seems. And he's going to, yeah, yeah. Like he's trying to, you know, stay in a straight and narrow here, judging from this. <laughs> It's going to keep him up, up at night, but he's going to try to refocus his thoughts. You know, he's going to slip off a little bit, become really in, intrigued and infatuated with this individual. But he's going to focus again. He's going to, yeah, you probably even start seeing him with this girl in the picture with this new charity he may start or whatever the case may be. Who knows? 
no, no telling what it is, but it looks like it's going to be involved black people. And then he's going to lose focus a little bit, but then he's going to regain it a little bit. Judge from this next card. You see this next card here? Yeah. It says, says, wishes come true. Your dreams become reality. A magical time of life, good fortune, faith, and universe that all will be well. So see, this is the answer right there. It seems that he's going to lose focus, but then he's going to gain focus again. And his set goal to start whatever his charity or organization or whatever project he's going to be doing with a woman, I'm assuming, or a woman going to be involved, who's going to infatuate him, make him lose focus, get in touch with his inner side. And he's going to somehow feel like, oh my gosh, she's amazing. Who is this woman? She's like an angel or whatever. He's going to lose focus. He's going to keep him up at night. It's going to drive him crazy. But he's going to refocus again and finish what he sets said to do in the beginning with, which is a good thing, Tom Max. <laughs> Stay focused. Stay focused. <laughs> okay. So let's pull up this card here. This is this deck. This is a normal tarot deck. Okay. We're going to see what this tarot deck shows for Mr. Tom Hanks here. Let's see what it shows for Mr. Tom Hanks. Let's see what's going on with Mr. Tom Hanks. Well, let's find out. A little, let's go a little deeper. Let's go deeper. So far, we're just getting the angelic. Are we starting this charity? Who's going to start getting closer to some chick? Blah, 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 blah. Let's go deeper. What else is going on with Tom Hanks? What else is going on with Tom Hanks? Because you know he holds a lot of secrets. Is he the good boy everyone think he is? Or is, is he the good boy everyone think he is? Tom Hanks? Or the good boy everyone think he is? Are you a good boy? Hmm? Or is it all just bull crap, huh? Are you a good guy, Tom Hanks? Or just... Okay, a little like a card popped out here. All right, it looks like we got the victory card here. See? We got the victory card, which is... It says, Why choice, wise choices that bring public recognition and success, promotions, awards, and scholarships. So whatever he's doing, you know, after he focuses and make his dream of reality, he's going to get an award for it. So I'm kind of, oops, okay, I look like this card. The Lover's card. <laughs> See, the Lover's card decided to pop up. Yeah, the Lover's card popped up, which is embrace true love and deep, intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart, vibrant health, or recovery from an illness. Remember I told you, you know, you're going to meet someone? But well, answer your questions, you only focus. You know, you're gonna make a wise choice, and you don't probably get that close to his wife because he's gonna have a really tough year getting his charity or community center or whatever new project he's gonna be doing. So make him lose his focus. And cause him to have sleepless and sleepless nights, apparently. This card wanted to pop out. Cause him to have these two cards. Cause him to have sleepless nights, apparently, where he can't think straight. But then he refocuses. Like him and his, his wife, and he may even want to leave out. Who knows? You know, who knows? Who knows? But there's some good things going on with Tom Hanks. Good things here. Good things going on Tom Hanks, which is good. Okay, look who's popping out. These two cards wanted to pop out. This card here. See that? It says here, planning for the long term, abundance from past choices, pride in success of your labors. Be patient as you decide what's next. So you got the lover's card to pull it up. This feels like it should go up underneath this card here. Because this is sleepless nights, and this is saying that planning for long term abundance, past choices, pride and success. So it said, just enjoy your success, Tom Hanks. Don't worry about 
what you was about to do. Be at one with your wife. You know, renew your vows. Screw what happens in the past. And it's funny this card came out because I just asked about his relationship with Weinstein and Spielberg. And it says, leave it in the past. Don't even bring it up. Because he's worrying about that now. You know, is he going to be dragged into it with him? And she's saying he's really scared about that. And it's in, telling him to not worry about it. And then we have this card here that wanted to pop out. See that? The High Priestess. High Priestess, which says, meditate and turn inward to discover your soul's true desire. This is not the time for action. Develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom you receive. So it's telling him to meditate and discover his true desire. You know, the wisdom that's already in him. Don't worry about it, basically. It's pretty much saying, don't even worry about it. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. So that's what we're getting from that. Just tell me Tom Hanks to don't worry about it. Oops, okay. This card wants to pop out. The wheel card. See that? Which states a fresh new start at the end of the delays, sudden or unexpected progress, a very positive change in life travel or a new vehicle. So it's time to worry about it. You know, this is a fresh new start. Fresh new start. Buy a new car or something. Forget about it. You're okay. So it looks like this new project he's going to be doing, getting almost, probably almost cheating with this girl here. <laughs> Whoever the girl he's going to meet while he's doing this project. Could be a movie. Who knows? Keeping him up at night. But he's going to stay focused. You know, his wish is going to come true. And, you know, reach victory. His wife and he may even renew their vows. Some good things are in sight for um, whatever his project is and whatever his future may be. So that's a good thing. Okay. And let's pull some different cards here. Let's see, we're going to pull these cards. See these cards? We're going to pull these cards. Let's see what these cards say. Let's see what these cards say. I haven't pulled these in a while. So let's see what these say. Let's see. Let's dive deeper into his mind. Why is he so worried about this? Let's dive deeper into Tomic's mind. Why is he so worried about Weinstein? I want to know more about that. What was his involvement with the whole thing? Did he participate in those sex parties? Or was he just an innocent bystander? Those are some of the questions we should be asking. Did he participate? On Tom Hanks? Because you seem nervous on the interview. Huh? You seem awfully nervous. I heard some stuff about you. I did a video about him, actually. Well, I saw a video about him. So, what's going on with you, Tom Hanks? What is going on with you? Let's see what this says. Let's <laughs> look at that. See that? It's telling him you can't go back to yesterday's. Remain in the present. So he's really worried about this wine state. It's really just driving him crazy. He is seriously stressing. They're asking him questions about the whole thing. He is, str he is stressing the hell out. Yes. Oh, okay. This one to pop out. That uh, one to pop out. Which says, Nature communication, flower energies, fairy energies of elemental messengers. So like some messengers is gonna come his way. Don't get some messengers his way. Telling him exactly all of this, just relax. Don't worry about it. You can't change what happened yesterday. 
you know, what happened in the past. You probably regret some things. Like, I knew these girls was being insulted and, you know, I knew what they were doing, but I didn't say anything. You probably just knew and just turned their other cheek like all the rest of them Hollywood stars. Okay. This one to pop out here. You see? Yeah, see that one to pop out. It says here, becoming braver, resilience, experience, growing stronger, fresh perspective. So it's telling him to be brave. Just don't worry about it. Just be brave. Just start over. You get a lot of starting over here because he's really stressed. I think his name's going to get dragged in him up about this Weinstein thing. And he didn't, I don't think he participated in anything, but he knew what was going on, but he didn't say anything. He just didn't say anything. He just didn't say anything. You know, he just turned the other cheek. So that's what it is. He's worrying about, he's just feeling guilty. He should have said something. Let's dive deeper into that. Let's dive deeper into that. Let's see what else. You know, because I'm getting the feeling, you know, my spirits are telling me that he didn't participate in any little sex parties with them young girls. But I'm visualizing him at those parties, but maybe drinking, have a little fun. Looking at some girls, maybe, but he didn't participate in those sex parties. He did not. He was there. He knew what was going on, but he didn't say anything. He didn't say anything. Oop, okay, this one to pop up. Oh, okay. See, expectation. Look like um, Tom Hanks got some strong expectations that he has to live up to, you know, just an image. He has to live up to, and he's worried about his image, his expectation, his look, like, okay, I didn't say anything, but am my fans gonna worry about this? I mean, I knew what they were doing. Oh, okay. Unexpected income. See that? Unexpected income. Which is strange, his coming kind of expectation. I think someone's going to pay him to be quiet. Like he wants to talk, but they're going to pay him to be quiet. It looks like someone's paying for somebody. See, this is someone's paying somebody. Like, okay, don't you say anything. You know? And he's thinking about it. Because you have this card, this woman just thinking about it. Which is a person. I guess let it be a woman. You know? I think someone's going to, think someone's paying him to be quiet. Like, he knows a lot what happened to Weinstein. Maybe even Spielberg. Because him and Spielberg are really close friends. And I think he's just scared. He's really scared. And he don't know what he want to do. He don't know what he want to do. He's looking to get money, see? Someone's paying him to be quiet. They're paying him a lot of money. See that? And it, it could either be the money from the project he's doing, yes. But I think he's getting a little bit more money than this project is giving him. You know? That's what I'm getting. Oop, okay. It's popped out. Just look at it. Just more money coming for him. And they're just throwing money at this man. What the hell does he know? They're just throwing money. What the hell is he going to be doing? It's either this project is going to throw money at him, but as you can see, I think it's going to have something to do with the truth. I'm getting the truth. Maybe is it going to be a community center or... As it says here, the first card came, and look, you see where this card here? It says, the good you do comes back to you, unexpected inflow of abundance, borrowing wisely or pay off debt, sharing your wealth with others. So he's sharing his wealth with others. And just from these cards here, he's going to get a lot of money. But he's going to start with some kind of project. The rate this is going, Tom Hanks is going to reach a billionaire state. Billionaire um, state. Because he's throwing money at him. I wonder why. With the child involved. So we got a child involved here. Maybe that's probably why they pan him. Cause he got <clears throat> he's paying off debt, trying to do good, sharing it. I can't 
she probably started some charity or something, you know. And whatever he's going to be doing, he's going to get powers from the up high. They're going to help him get this done. He'll get, see, he's getting unnatural creatures helping him along the way. You have this unexpected mermaid, dolphins, sleepless nights, because all this work and whoever this unexpected person who he's really attracted to is going to cause problems in his marriage. But he's going to stay focused, I'm seeing here. But he's still worried. You know, and keep getting these cards. He's still worried. When I asked the Weinstein question, I got these. He's still worried about it. And telling him to be braver and never let it go. But then you start seeing money. Like, he has expectations. So I'm getting a mixture of things. The Weinstein, people throwing money on him to keep him distracted. And a new project he's going to be doing. So he's going to be doing a new project and people going to be throwing money at him. More money than he deserves. <clears throat> A, because he holds a lot of secrets and people are going to start asking him questions. So they're going to keep him distracted with whatever this new project is he's going to be doing by throwing money at him. <clears throat> a lot of money at him, too. This project, what is this project kind of thing? We know you know about Weinstein. We know they're trying to keep you quiet, but what is this project, though? Now I'm getting curious. All right, Tom Hanks, what is this project that they are trying to keep you hush about, huh? What is this project? What is this project? I want to know what this project is, because now I am curious. This project must be pretty deep, because they are going all out. They're throwing so much money at you, it's ridiculous. What is this project? What is this project that you're going to be involved in, Tom Hanks? Huh? What is this project? It's going to cause mar marital problems. Oops. Problems in your marriage, it seems. Definitely marital problems. Oops, okay. Got this card popping out here. Seven of Pentacles. So much going back to their roots. Roots. The earth. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Is this some history movie or something he's going to be involved in? Okay. Just popped out. You have the two of wands. See that? Or is this a young lady? Look like she's sitting there. You have a drawing of a car in the world. She's thinking of her next move. Okay. So like this new project I think is gonna be in. I think it's gonna be something about history. Going back to the roots from the beginning. Hmm. Are people gonna help them do this? That's shocking. Especially if it's gonna be about black people because we in history. Then you have the moon card. See that? The moon card, a woman deep in the ocean with the moon is shining bright on her. Very powerful card. Black and white. I guess that answered that question. Tom Hanks is going to be doing a history project. Hmm. I wonder if that's the project him and Will Smith might get involved in too. Is Will Smith going to be getting this project with him? What am I getting? This is project Will Smith. Let's talk about getting involved in. Okay. Oh yeah, that's what it is. 
They're going, they're doing a history movie. Someone's going to be doing a history movie with him. That's exactly what it is. It's a history movie. <laughs> Something about exploring the truth. Yep. Oh, is he going to be telling the truth or is he going to be telling lies? It's going to be about black people because we are history. Our race is history. We're history. Is this going to be about history, history? Or is it going to be... Okay, these cards want to pop out. Okay. Is this going to be history, history? Or just white history? We have the... <clears throat> the high front. The higher front. See? The higher fit, which is a man high, meditative, happy, intuitive with himself. And then you have the four of cups. See that? Center thinking, the next move, what to do. So there's definitely some confusion. And then that's my question. So I think he's going to be conflicted on where he wants to go in terms of race. He's like, I don't know where I want to go with race. I just don't know with race. I just don't know. Should I tell the truth or should I keep it white? You know, he's conflicted. He don't know what. So let's see what these cards are. Let's see what these cards are. The last deck. Okay, this card wanted to pop up. We have eight of cups. See, he's wondering, he's sleeping. He's wandering around. He's trying to figure out. He's he can't think. We have eight of cups, you know, choices. You really don't know if you should tell the truth or should he make it a European story. If this is a Black history story, if it's about history, getting back to the roots of the world, Black people don't have to be in it because we are the history. He's gonna tell the truth because he got money coming at him. They throw money at him like pie cakes. See. They throw money at him. And his son is set to make a lot of money too. He's set to make a lot of money for this. Oh yeah. He's set to make a lot of money from this. From this project. But is he gonna be about the truth or he's gonna be telling the same stupid fictitious story? I'll tell the truth. Okay, this card wants to pop out. We have the nine of wands. So then he's trying it out. You see, my say what race? See that he's trying it out. He don't know where to go. He don't know what race to do. No, what color? What race should I make this movie? This could be a history movie. Okay. See, he's still conflicted. Ace of Wands. There is fortune, but he's still conflicted. You know he's gonna tell the truth? You're gonna tell the same fake European story. Come on, Tom Hanks, what are you gonna do? Where is this going? Are you gonna tell the truth or is this gonna be the same stupid story? Come on. This car popped out. Well, you remember I told you I was going to erase so you can tell the same stupid story? There's your answer. Strength. He's going to tell the truth, but it's going to take a lot of strength for him to do it. He's going to tell the truth. You have a black, beautiful queen with blonde hair sitting on a lion, and this looks to be Africa. He's going to tell the truth. It took him a long time to get there, but he's going to tell the truth. Okay, so this is what I gather from these cards. 
he's going to be doing some charity. Again, just giving away money. A really huge charity. You know. But it's not going to be so much of a charity. It's going to be an investment. You know, it's going to be some downfalls. You know, we focus on the negative. But it's going to be blessing in it. You're going to meet someone. This person is not going to be of this world. It's this person, he going to become infatuated and intrigued by this person. He never met anyone like this before. He's going to lose focus. See, he's going to lose focus. But this person is set to give him the truth. Set him down the right path, the right message. You know, it's going to cause some problems, some sleepless nights. You're going to be confused, but he's going to work out at the end. Okay. His wife and he probably renew their vows, judging from that card there. <clears throat> See that? Planning long term with this, which means it's, this could be their marriage, planning long term, which goes unsaid. Or judge from the ship here and the black woman and what she's holding and you have the moon card here. This project he's going to be doing, it's, he, this is where he want to end at. He want to continue on the direction of this path, judging from that. And judge from that, it's going to be about black people in their history. See, it's going to be a fresh new start for him. I'm getting these visions in my head. A fresh new start. Something completely different. He's going to meditate about it. He's going to get some, get some intuitive wisdom. He's going really, to get really involved in this project. The more he learned about the history, the more he learned about the rules, the more he wanted to know more. Let's see. That explains the child card. And then we have this card here. See, getting back to the roots. I asked what project it was. Getting back to his roots. Getting back to the roots of the world. The truth. You see that? You want to know. <clears throat> but he's still worried about this Weinstein thing. When I asked for Weinstein, I was getting these cards. You know, he was worried about the wine thing, and all we're getting is he has an expectation to to do, a message to deliver, you know. So he's going to get some unexpected income. It could be from the people who's going to be investing in this project or the people who's trying to keep him quiet. But I think they're going to invest him because he expected to do this, you know. He's going to, they ask him to become braver. You can't go back to yesterday. The wine thing thing is done. It says flowery energies, fairy energies, elemental messengers. So you're going to get a lot of messengers, a lot of people from out of this world just aching him on to do this. Like he has to do this. He has to do this. That's what unexpected income from him. He's going to get a gift. And I'm getting these insights now as I'm pulling them. I may have said something different before, but this is what I'm getting. He's going to get an unexpected gift and great fortune by him telling the truth. Is going to give him great fortune. Okay. This is him contemplating should he tell the truth or race? You know? What race should I make it? I don't know. He's contemplating. You know? Oops. Sorry. Hmm. Contemplating. Because he's look black and white. Should I make it the truth or should I make it the lies? You know? The moon is shining bright, but she's falling deeper in the ocean. We have the Indian version. Should we do the Indian version? <laughs> you know? Lead to some kind of wisdom. Stairway to heaven. They are part of the, the history as well. So confused. You know, see this wonderful, beautiful woman sitting here confused. You have one-siders bright purple colors and all that stuff and you have this side which is true nature nothing's covered up just just the truth that's conflicted you have the world here a drawing here of this young lady two of, two of wands and she's looking out like i don't know what to do this is tom hanks you don't know what race to make it 
She's like an Indian person here, Queen of Swords. Like she's just sitting there contemplating. He don't know what to do. You have the flags there. Indian. World expectation. What color? I don't know what color. And I'm thinking when he's thinking, like, should I make it white? Should I make it the truth? I don't know. Which, I don't know. And then this popped out. The truth. His next project is going to be a project about history. Black history. True history of black people. Not slavery. He going behind slavery. This is going to be a huge project for Tom Hanks. He's called to do this. And I think he's going to do it with someone. I'm not sure he's going to do it with. But he's going to do it with somebody. <clears throat> so that is my reading for Tom Hanks. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Share, share, share. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let me know if you want to do any readings on anyone else. Most of my readings do come true. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.